Yes, I'm the first. Hello. Welcome no. back. Oh, I'm back. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to a totally new class. I haven't seen any of you before. Now nobody swear because I don't want to do the same thing over and over and over and over and over again. Just put hashtag yeah. words. Just put hashtag words if you want to swear that way. All right. Hello, everyone. Good job coming back. I see some people haven't come back yet. But we have another 40 minutes, so we can wait a little bit longer. Where is Proud? Yeah, it seems like um, they're not here right now. All right, we'll wait about three minutes for everyone to get back on. Hey, proud of here. What happened? Hi, I was playing Roblox. Not funny. Perfect, Not excuse. Right. there we go. Not funny. Don't, who is saying that? Indy, Indy. Indy, Indy, stop saying that. <laughs> Go on. I have just said something. All right. Let's say everyone's back on. Um, I'll wait. I feel like there yeah. were slightly more last time. I would a couple of minutes. I know sometimes Zoom like logs you out. You have to go do everything again. Sorry about that. I believe next time I know how to fix it. Where's Pepper? Um, oh, Pepper. I see Pepper here. Yeah. In my little screen. Oh, you know what? Yeah, who there is we it? go. I see you, Pepper. I see you. All Bye. right. Let's, we'll go ahead and begin now. Um, all right. As always, who can guess where we are today? Oh, wait. Is that it? If you guessed Replit, you are correct. All right, link in chat as always. Um, Teacher, it's lagging. All right. Yeah, for some reason, whenever I go off the thing, Maybe it lags. It's like, uh, it, yeah, it's a lag. It's a little lag. It lags again, and now it's not. Yeah, if it lags a little bit, it's fine. Um, I'll be right back. It's just when I check chat, I have to like make it lag for some reason. I don't quite know why. I don't know. <laughs> um, but for now, go That's ahead and click fun. create right up here, big create button. In the template, we'll be typing oh. HTML as always. Always HTML, okay. CSS, JS, and click create REPL. All right. So what do we do? Okay, like ribbon. 
Yes, um, I'll show you right here. All right, so as always, we're going to go on line 13 here where we see script, SEC script.js. Oh, and before I continue, I have made it a little less um, big. Is this uh, font fine for everyone? Can everyone read it? I make it a little bigger. We'll go like that. All right. Line 13, script, MC script.js. Um, delete all of line 13. Then go over to chat and copy the code I just pasted in chat and then paste it on line 13. Control V. Yep. Control C to copy, control V to paste. Done. Good job. Done. And to anyone coming right now, I feel like her phone come. Um, as always, we did the line 13, delete all of line 13, go to chat, copy what I just pasted in chat, and then paste it on line 13. All right. I feel like we've done that enough times now that I can just move on. We'll go now to script.js. Make sure to do the index.html thing and then go to script.js. And we'll, we will yeah. do void v-o-i-d yeah. space setup, f-e-t-u-p, left parenthesis, outside parenthesis, left curly brace, enter, let's go, five, f-i-v-e, left parenthesis, 400, comma space 400, semicolon at the end. And then after that, new lines here, we got void space draw, left parenthesis, outside parenthesis, left curly brace, enter. And if we run it, we have our gray square. I don't know why there isn't one, but I feel like I might make a template for it. We won't use it too much, but like it, I know in Replit, you can make your own user templates that other people can use. I feel like it'd be useful. I'm done. All right, good job. I'll go ahead and move on here. Good job. Um, and now for today, let's begin by um. Well, first we need to add a background, right? Go B A C K G R O U N D background. That parenthesis, and I want a Can very blue, like sky blue. Paula? Oh yeah, you can. Sure. Teacher, can uh, I can I have your replit? Yes. Uh, okay. I will you. paste it in chat for you. There we go. Um. That's again. And in the background, I'm gonna write zero comma space two hundred comma space two fifty, semicolon at the end, and that should give me a very nice sky blue, like classic Flappy Bird. Teacher, I get a very bright, bright, bright lime color when Ooh. I do 52, comma, space, 255, comma, space, 35. Oh, yeah. If you so remember, um, first one is Can red, second number is green, and third number is blue. Wow. Wow. 
So yeah, if you do a bunch in green and then very little in um, red and blue, you get a very nice bright green. Um, oh my God, I get a really dark blue when I do zero uh, to 35. Hmm, yeah, which is very similar to what we're getting here. Um, all right, I'm gonna go ahead now and make some variables, new uh, lines after setup. Um, and this is gonna be a little different than normal. I'm gonna write let, L-A-T, space, and I'm gonna write player, capital X, P-L-A-Y-E-R, capital X. For this variable, we usually just write X and Y, but this time I wanna be a little more specific in what X and Y I'm talking about. I wanna be, I want to be very clear than talking about the player X. Let player capital X equal sign, and then I'll do 100 semicolon, make sure to have the semicolon. And then I'll real quick do the same for player Y, new line, let player, P-L-A-Y-E-R, capital Y, equal sign 100 semicolon. And before I leave the variable area, I'm actually going to go ahead and do some commenting, which is where you go to the line above your variables here, make a new line, and then write slash slash. It's right next to your shift oh. key, slash slash, and then I'll do space, and then I'll say um, player, and then here's a big word, coordinates. C O O R D I N A T E S. You can also just say um, where the player is to be more um, colloquial, which means to be more regular. Um, but I'll use player coordinates. Um, the slash is to the left of the shift key. It's right under that little, or it is that little question mark okay. key. Okay. So player coordinates, um, coordinates mean that like X and Y, that's the word for the coordinates. Um, that way, when you or another developer comes and look, looks at your code, they can e easily see what's going on. All right, so we got our player variable here. Um, I'll go ahead and wait a minute just because I don't want to be too fast for anyone. All right. And now, again, something a little bit different. Can you wait for me? Oh, yeah, good. Teacher, teacher, yep. when I write down the player coordinates part, my thing becomes green, not gray. Um, that is fine. That's probably just like a different- um... My score is- Oh, maybe it's up. because I'm using dark mode or something. Yeah, Can that's I probably it. Screen up? Can I share my screen? Like, Nothing happened when I write. Blank. Who's the player All right. coordinates? Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and let people share screens in a moment. Make sure you do two slashes, by the way, in your comment. And also remember, if you just got in here, to do the index of HTML stuff, this little block right here. All right, I'll give everyone a moment to look at the code, and then I'll go. Wait, wait, wait. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. I think I just. Okay, it's still the same. All right, I'll go ahead. Um, yeah, let me wait one more minute in case anyone wants to do writing, because I don't want to go out and not let people see the code. If you can, paste in your code in chat is ideal. Um, I don't know why, but when I add comments, Replit just bugs out and doesn't run. Huh. All right, I'm going to stop my share real quick. And then anyone needs you can share their screen. Huh, 
Oh, looks correct. Can you write for me? Oh, um, line two, you have two of these in five. That should be a problem. Line two. All right, there you go. Uh, anyone else? Oh, yeah, Taya, um, here is the code for the index. Remember to, to delete line 13 as well. And hey, uh, Sacramouche, great name, but make sure to be nice to people. Um, oh, go home, hello. Is All right, right. great. Yep. Okay. Um, make sure to put semicolon at the end of your variables. It seems fine for now, but just to be safe. All right. Let me grab my replit again. Okay. And time. Make sure to delete line thirteen as well before you paste that that block of code. All right. So now I'll make a couple of new lines after the draw function. And I'm going to make a let space and then player, P-L-A-Y-E-R, left parenthesis, oh no wait, let player equal sign, then function, F-U-N-C-T-I-O-N, -N, then a left parenthesis. Outside the parenthesis, left curly brace, enter. This will be the player function, especially in games and especially in um, languages or framework that have only one file, you really wanna separate everything into functions. So let player equals function. And then inside the function, I'm gonna write some really particular code because I have tested out how to make the a semblance of a bird in um, JavaScript. I'm gonna write oh. still, F-I-L-L, -L, left parenthesis, 255, comma space 255, comma space zero, semicolon at the end. That will make the body of our bird yellow. Enter. And then I'll type ellipse, E-L-L-I-P-S-E. -L -L -E. Let me make it a little bigger. Left parenthesis. And then here, I'm gonna type, for the X, I'm gonna type player X, P-L-A-Y-E-R, capital X. And then for the Y, player Y. Make sure to have a capital Y there. Then comma space 50, comma space 50, then we call it at the end. And if I run this, to be clear, nothing happens. Because if you remember, this is a function, so it will not be run until I call it. All right, go ahead and give me a done in chat when you're done. Done. Good job. Mm -hmm. Done. All right, that sounds like everyone. It sounds like mostly everyone. Um, and remember, if I ever, if I ever go too fast, just unmute and put in chat. Please slow down, and then I will slow down and give you time to catch up. All right. So we'll go ahead. 
And unlike before, because I would usually call player inside the draw function. This time, I'm going to go one more step because planning for the future, I want a screen for the game and also a screen for the menu where you can like, like play game and stuff. Um, so to do that, I'm going to first have a couple of new lines here and I'm going to make another function. I'm going to do let game, G-A-M-E, uh -huh. equal sign, function, F-U-N-C-T-I-O-N, left parenthesis, outside parenthesis, left curly brace, enter, a function just like the player one, but for the game. And then inside this function, I'm going to write player, left parenthesis, semicolon at the end. So this function will call the player. And to be clear, if I run it, still nothing happens because um, a game is a separate function. Proud doing the dance over there. Good job. I'm opening, uh, I found Among Us 10 hours meme in a YouTube. <laughs> Who told you to watch YouTube during class? All right, now, if you have the game function, you can go ahead and go up in the draw function here, new line, and then type in player. No, I'm sorry, don't type in that. Type in game, left parenthesis, semicolon, at the end. And now, finally, when we run it, we see a yellow circle. I swear there's a, there's a good reason for us writing all this code. Um, and you will see as you become a better programmer, the bigger and bigger project you build, you end up you writing- can you slow down? Oh yeah. Um, all I did was just um, put the game into the, the draw function. I uh, invoked game right here. And also this little function here for the game, which invokes player. What I'm saying is that as you build bigger and bigger projects, you tend to write more code that does less. For example, when we first started, we could have just wrote Fill and let the entire draw function. My problem, I have one problem. Yeah. So my gray box isn't blue. Also, it does not have a circle in it. Okay. Um, if you can, uh, paste in your code in chat would be ideal. But in a moment, I can go ahead and um, do the share screen stuff. I don't know how to share my screen. Um, all right. I'll just uh, put it in chat then. All right. Sounds good. Oh, and um, when you are done, if you see the little Teacher, uh, circle. Teacher, my circle is not yellow, but it's the same color as the background. Hmm. <laughs> I assume you meant to do that on purpose. No. Oh, um, paste your code in chat or in a moment I can let you share your screen. I want to share my screen. All right, give me one moment. I wanna let people have some time to um, write it. Okay, JB here, let me see. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. Why, that looks awfully correct, huh? Oh, I see. Um, on your player function, JP, you didn't put the let in front of the player. So you just have player like this. Make sure to go before the player and write L-E-T in the space. You see for a game, you did put a let for player, you did. So make sure to put the let before the player in the player function. All right, anyone else here? 
All right, Lou Map. Factor Mouse, um, to make it green, do zero, comma space, RGB, yeah. Zero, comma space, two, five, five, comma space, zero, and it'd be green. Lou Map code, oh, Lou Map. Um, okay, a couple of things, Lou Map. In the game function, you invoked game like this. This part here in the game function should be player, P-L-A-Y-E-R, and the left parenthesis stuff. And then in draw, you invoke game. So in it's draw, working. you're gonna make a new line, game, left parenthesis, so it's one at the end. Teacher, my circle. All right, I'll go ahead and stop my share and anyone who needs can share their screen. Oh, you get us. Um, oh, that's a good problem. No, you too. Hello, Momos. All right, um, excuse me, teacher. Too proud? You are missing one of oh, the yeah, numbers yeah, in the okay. cell. You only have two numbers. After the second one, go ahead and do comma space and zero or something. That should be teacher. fine. Teacher, I, I, I run the code and I don't see a circle. Hold on. All right, go ahead and share your screen. Uh, okay. uh, to uh, Zibola. Yeah, Mine's the same at all. Mine's the same. All right, um, to Punjaron, line 14, your function has an extra R in it. You have oh, I, I, it's a typo. Yep. There you go. That should be good. Okay. Uh, okay. Problem. I don't. Nothing changed. It's still a gray box. With no circle. All right. Um. Who is JP? All right. If you can share your screen. Um. I I already posted code in chat. About right. Okay. Times. Let me see here. Okay. So the player function looks good. Um. Okay. Let me grab my code back. All right. Let me see here. Function fill. Hmm. Teacher, oh, it looks your good. Screen is laggy. Um, that that's okay. Um, I'm going on chat right now. Whenever I go on chat for some reason, my screen dies. Teacher. Um, yep. Shoot, JP, I can't figure out what is wrong. Um, anyone who's comfortable with coding, go and chat and look at JP's code and help me figure out what's wrong. Can you check my code? I don't know what's wrong with it. Can you share my screen? I opened two YouTubes for I found Among Us 10 hours. Mm -hmm. And I was like this. All right. Um, it's double the beat. 10 hours later. Let me post my code in chat. Okay. Sorry. Um, I'm seeing a lot Mr. of code. Quinn, That's apparently wrong. I don't know screen. what's wrong. Um. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you go ahead and share okay. your screen. Okay. This is gonna take a long time. I have laggy internet. The combi code looks good. All right. Um, See, okay, line no 20, word. you have only one L in your ellipse. It should be two L for ellipse. Oh. Is the index right, or do I need to delete this part? Um, Looks like... So that's all good. Looks like you didn't copy it correctly. Um, It seems that... What is it? There's something weird there. Here, go ahead and delete all that and, um, oh, what? 
Okay. Oh. For some, so for some reason, we only have 10 something. minutes left. Um, but it just only okay, yeah. needs some. Delete goals. that, and then I'll put the uh, code in chat again because it, we have like part of it off here. There is, okay. There's the code in chat. And to everyone who I haven't been able to, oh no, that's so much. Okay, I know a few people haven't gotten able to go to your code. Follow along best you can for now, and then I'll get back to you in, in a bit. Um, but for now, just follow along best you can. All right, because I don't have a ton of time here. So we have what is basically a player. Now, let's go ahead, a couple new lines near the end here, and I'm gonna write, let move equals function, F-U-N-C-T-I-O-N, left parenthesis, left curly brace at the end, enter. This is the move function. Teacher, can you wait for me, please? Yep. Just making the move function here. All right, and now we're going to inside the move function, we're going to write if left parenthesis, and then P, capital P, pressed. So K-E-Y, capital P, R-E-S-S-E-D, key pressed. This would tell us whether or not the user is pressing a key at all. Left curly brace, enter. So we have a little if statement here. And then inside the key pressed if statement, but inside the if statement, we're gonna do if, left parenthesis, and then key, K-E-Y, equal sign, equal sign, space, single parenthesis, uh, single quotation mark. So make sure to not click shift when you do your quotation mark, just a single quotation mark, and then put a space in the quotation mark. And outside parentheses, left curly brace, enter. I know for a while people have been asking me how to do space, how to like check for people clicking space. This is how you literally put a space. So key equal sign, equal sign, single parentheses, and then space. Put the space bar. All right. And go ahead and give me done when you're done. I won't do it yet. All right. That thing should happen right now, to be clear. Done. Teacher. Yep. I, 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 a quiet. I really want to make dump as a space. Yeah, and th this is a space right here. Yeah, when doing key equal sign, equal sign, single quotation mark, and then clicking the space bar in between the little quotation marks, mm -hmm. that is the symbol for check for a space, which is how <laughs> we will do jumping. Is All right, key? so inside oh. the if statement here, all we're going to do is say why, plus sign, equal sign, and then 15 semicolon. And that will be our jumping. And I will take questions in just a little bit. 
So for now, if we run it, nothing happened. I click jump or I click space. And nothing happened right now because we haven't called the move function yet, which we will in a moment. And if you use the move function, is it, it going to work? Um, yes. Um, but for now, one thing, we want to do more than just jump up. We also want to be able to be pulled down, right? Like a flappy bird, if you don't do anything, you just fall to the ground right away. So. Use your mind to side. Look. Um, Look. Add a semicolon at the end of the Y plus equals 15. That might be it. No, that wouldn't be it. I'm not sure. Give me a moment. I'll do um, checking. For now, follow along as best you can, and then I'll check in a moment. So next thing we need to do, after the Y plus E with 15, we are going to make a new line here, and we're going to make it outside the if statement, but still inside the move function. So you should see only one curly brace below you. And then we're going to write Y plus equal 5, semicolon. And then we're going to go back to line 26 because I made a mistake. And it's y plus equals 15. We're going to change it to y minus equals. So delete the plus sign, put a minus sign. Because remember, um, plusing in the y direction moves you down. So this means we are always going to be moving 5 down. And I'll hit the, the space bar, which means we move 15 up. Uh, I might have made the bird fly too high. That's okay. We can fix it in a moment. Uh, I actually made the bird fly very high. <laughs> About 20. I didn't put it in the... I didn't run Wait, the I'm, I'm yeah, starting I to realize this roughly feels like Flappy Bird. It is Flappy something. Bird. It should oh, be Flappy Bird. Yeah. Teacher, I'm a little bit left behind. Okay. Um, okay, but my yeah. my bird isn't even moving. Yes, it will move in one moment. Um, so um, it's yeah. just this move function here. This is the only code we have written. Yeah, it's the, yes. a normal function, let move. Oh, hey, no, that, hey. Let move this function. We have a key pressed if statement. And then we have, um, you know what? Here, I can paste that little bit of code in chat there. And then if you'd like, you can just paste it at the very end of your code. Make sure you put it at the very end. Make sure not to put it like in the player function, for example, at the very end. Um, and then we need to do something very important, which is scrolling up to the let game function, let game equals function making a new line and writing M-O-V-E, left parenthesis, semicolon at the end. That should invoke the move function inside our game function. So we run, it doesn't work, what? Teacher, I don't see on line 16. Um, oh yeah, right there. Um, Shoot, why isn't it working? Oh, my bad. Um, hopefully you guys caught this on your own. Um, but if not Y, replace the two Y's here with player capital Y. And then here, player capital Y. That's my bad. I'll paste the new function in chat. And then I'll also copy and paste my whole code. Teacher, la less than a minute. Yes, shoot, okay. So that is the code. Um, I'll go ahead, that is officially the end of the um, class. If I run it, you see I go down, hold space, I come back up. Um, if you have not finished writing the code or if you have any problems that have questions, um, when the class ends, you can just log back in, I'll be here and then I can help you out. Otherwise, if your code works, Teacher, that's officially the end of class. My bird cannot move. All right, so when I'm class I'm ends, my, my, class my ends, go ahead and rejoin. No. And my, then, my, my code um, works now, but the bit 